Hi, welcome back. It's Sarah with Valley City Barnes County Public Library, and I'm going to show you just a fun texture President's Day activity, which is coin rubbing. So all you'll need are some coins. You can either use just plain printer paper or cardstock, and you'll just need some crayons. But before I begin, do you know who's on each coin? Starting with our smallest coin, the penny, do you know who's on here? That's right, Abraham Lincoln. And the penny is only worth one cent. And as I said in the story, he was our 16th president. Our next largest coin is the nickel, which is worth five cents. Do you know who's on this coin? That's right, Thomas Jefferson. And we have a Jefferson Elementary School here in town. And fun fact, he can also actually be found on the $2 bill. You don't see those very often, but you can still get them once in a while. Next is our dime which is about the same size as a penny. So it's really tiny. Here it is compared to a penny. But on the dime is Franklin D. Roosevelt, not Theodore Roosevelt, Franklin D. Roosevelt, who is our 32nd president. And then we have our quarter, which is worth 25 cents. And do you know who's on this one? George Washington, our first president of the United States. And we also have a Washington Elementary School. And there is one more coin I don't have an actual copy of, so I printed off a picture. And that's our half dollar, which is worth 50 cents. And that is with John F. Kennedy on there, and he was our 35th president, and he was actually one of the youngest people to be elected president. So for the activity, all you're going to do is take your coins, just lay them flat. You don't want them laying on top of each other. And then you're just gonna take paper, lay it over. And you can either try to find, you know, one at a time. And you're just gonna color it kind of as hard as you can. And you should be able to see them. I'm going to use a couple different colors. Some colors might pick up the imprint a little better. It also depends on how hard you're rubbing. on just plain paper. I'll show you on cardstock also. And with the cardstock, you might have to push a little harder. And it might not show up as well as plain paper. Just because it is thicker. I did color all of the cardstock just to show you, but here's a comparison. So you can decide if you want to use just plain paper and just make sure you don't push too hard that you rip it or cardstock and just make sure you push a little harder to get the imprint of the coin. But it's just a really fun texture activity. You can use any color you want, as many coins, you can use all the same. I hope you enjoyed our 
quick easy activity that you can do and give us a thumbs up on Facebook and YouTube and follow us on Instagram. See you later. Bye.